Well, hello there, chaps. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Now, I know it's been a while since we played this game, but honestly, I missed it. And I've been thinking about it over the past couple months that we, uh, that we haven't been playing it, and I've been wanting to jump back in. God, I love that song. I absolutely love that song, but it was a little loud. And uh, I think we're pretty close to the end. I'm pretty sure the guy for me is Brian. He's just a big old lovable bear, and I love his red furry beard. And I really want to go on that third date with him and see how it ends. So come along with me, chaps. I hope you guys have been enjoying the game so far. And to those of you that were really into this Let's Play, I sincerely apologize for the delay between these final episodes. But uh, yeah, let's get into it, chaps. And on a brief editing note, this is my first time doing this type of recording since I got into my new setup. Uh, this game's audio is particularly difficult to capture, so I really hope everything turns out okay, but if the audio is a little off, I sincerely apologize. All right, let's go. Uh, well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? Oh, Amanda. I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. Oh, Amanda Panda. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> Risky move. In the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen? Leave her alone. I guess I'll press my luck. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Go away. Uh, okay, time to, time to give her some space. All right, I'll leave you be. I back out of the room and close the, jo the door gently behind me. She immediately starts crying again. Oh, oh, I just want to help. Wow, I have no idea what has upset, what has her so upset. She seemed totally normal. I feel awful just leaving her to cry, but I also get the feeling that if I tried to do anything else, I would only have made her more upset. I can't stop mentally cycling through all sorts of awful things she could be dealing with right now. More than anything, I just want her to be happy and safe. We're such a good dad. <laughs> I, ha I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. Mm. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her still freezer burnt waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Ugh. Ugh. Kids seem hard. <laughs> Amanda picks her bag and st picks up her bag and storms out. Oh, okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully, this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream, and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm not only going to make things worse, but I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. Ooh, time to get our cook on. I hear Amanda walk into the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen, like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She cl she's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I got scared when I... No, uh, I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. 
dad I so just whatever it is and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to whatever it is just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be uh -huh. happy honey you know I'm bad with words so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table hopefully the frosting has set by now oh yeah ta-da dad it took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over and <laughs> sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. Oh, oh that's adorable. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's strawberry. Amanda gives me a big old hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing. I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. Hmm, charts are helpful. I'm listening. Do you want me to take oh. notes? I guess I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R. is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R. The one who puked in Dead Goth and Beyond, the best friend, the other one. The one who puked in Dead Goth and Beyond? Dad, that was me! Oh, damn it. I'm so bad at this. What? I thought you were Emma P. <laughs> Dad, are you doing okay? I'm getting legit worried. I've been doing a lot of gluing and varnishing in unventilated space. Unvent unventilated spaces. Carry on. Hmm. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M. that both of the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at McKenzie F's. On the same night, they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Oh. Oh, that stings. Yeah. Yeah, that stings. I don't know why she was taking it out on me, but I can see how that would sting. Yikes. So, another important piece of information is, uh... God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah, and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa. I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that, okay? You're a bad liar. <laughs> so are you! I learned from the oh, worst. No. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just kept quiet and kept going about my business. Amanda sighs. And then one day I invited everybody out to get nachos at the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, every, even though none of them ev ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy like simultaneously. Ooh, very suspicious. I don't like these friends of my daughter. I don't like them. I should have a word with their parents. So I tell them, never mind. I just, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Ugh. So I go to the mall anyways. I get to the food court and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. Wow. What? I, it gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them and I realize that Noah has his arms, his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? Mm-hmm. But then they kiss. No. No! Yes! I know! So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because, of course, she... Because... <laughs> brain fart. And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because, of course, she does. And Emma R. just, like, glares at me. Grace. Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the <laughs> boring one? Gossipy one? Did she poop the bed too? I'm gonna go with the gossipy yeah. one? I know, right? <laughs> Nailed it. Safe bet. Grace is the one nobody really likes. Or I guess that's me now. Oh. Oh. But anyway, nobody will say anything and I'm just like, you guys suck. Which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to the shitty day, and immediately 
drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR asking how long the Noah thing's been going on. And sorry, I know that's a lot. You're still following? Yeah, I'm still following. I'm a little confused, but I think I understand. I have no idea what's happening. What did MR say? What did MR What did MR say? Oh, okay. Get a load of this. MR says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. I like it when people just read me texts rather than tell me about them. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads, word for word, in arduously long string of text mm -hmm. messages. Can you believe that? Oh, I wanted to hear. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest to be supportive. Oh. They were dating in secret for like months. That's fucked up. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend and she's like, well, if you think that, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read. On read? Hmm. And then, wait. Left me on read? What's that? I'm glad he asked, because I didn't know what that meant. Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply, and I know because there's a read receipt? Oh. Hmm. I didn't know what read receipts are, but I'm just gonna nod and pretend I understand. God, I relate with this guy so much. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am, because she's at least being kind of r reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am about at everybody and stuff. And then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? And he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. All right, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely uh. sounds bad. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me, half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Whew, that's a lot. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but uh. Emma R's been there since Dad died. I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah, I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remainder of her cake. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of bad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everybody just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected, I almost can't take it. What could I possibly oh. say to help? Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sordid tale. Uh, thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. <sighs> I know, it's pretty dumb. It's not dumb. It's not dumb. Your problems are real and valid, my daughter. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. Yeah, I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Well, that's valid. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long, long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly, fatherly wisdom. Not all friendships last forever, true real friends don't do that true high school sucks true uh not all friendships last forever people are going to come in and out of your life it's just how it works not every friendship is going to last forever so cherish your friends while you have them and when it's over don't dwell so much on the bad stuff you had some good times with them are but you guys grew apart learn from it and keep moving forward there are so many new friends to make and they're going to be so much cooler than emma r and the rest Ultimately, I think that says way more about their character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? <laughs> yes, we did eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. Amanda gets up to go to her room before she closes her door. She turns around. Hey, Pops. Yes? Ah. Thank you. You are also 
always bleh. you are always welcome love you manda i love you too dad no she said it Alrighty, chaps. Well, we are back to the dad book, which means that the next episode we can finally go on our final date with Brian. But we've been recording close to 20 minutes now. We helped Amanda through a crisis, so jumping into a date, which generally lasts like 20 to 30 minutes in this game, probably isn't gonna be good for the episode length. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you could before you go, if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, share the video if you're really into Dream Daddy or just want to. And uh, I love your guys' faces, Beardheart, and I will see you next time. Bye.